Today I'm going to teach you how to do a silhouette on Pages or Kino. I'm going to use Pages right now. I use this project on, with my first graders and my, I actually teach my fifth graders how to make one and then we collaborate to make a silhouette with my first graders for Mother's Day presents. So the first thing you want to do is just get a, um, a fancy frame off of Google. Um, I go ahead and I just search fancy oval frames on um, the Google Images search. And this is what I got. <clears throat> I clicked on it and dragged it over. Uh, next thing I want to do is I want to go to media. I want to make sure on my photos, iPhotos, and then I want to choose a photo of a student. Click and drag it over. can exit out of that now. Next thing is I want to make sure my photo is selected. I want to go to format mask with a shape and oval. So we're going format, mask with shape, oval. And this is what's going to give me my shape to go inside of my frame. So all I want to do is I want to make this oval longer. And I want to just fit the child's head and shoulders and I'm going to go a little bit outside of here to make sure I have an oval shape. Once I click off of it, all of the extra things go away. I'm going to select it again. I'm going to go back to format, and this time I'm going to use Instant Alpha. As I do Instant Alpha, I want to click on an area at the background. You're best to take the photo on a white background. That way you don't have so much to Instant Alpha. So I'm just going to click around the, the <clears throat> the white area and as you can see I've gotten it on my shirt um, and if you ever get any blue area or colored area from Insta Alpha on any of the clothing or face you just want to back off of it and as you can see it goes away but this looks pretty good and as you can see it turns white so I'm just going to go down here and fix this here once I click off of it I can see if there's any other areas that I need to get rid of I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to select my photo again. This time I'm going to go to View, Show Adjust Image. You've got lots of things going on in here, but all we're really worried about is our exposure. So we want to actually click on the arrow underneath Exposure. I like to double click it, that way it'll work. And then as we move it down, you can see behind here my photo is getting blacker and blacker to create that silhouette. Sometimes you'll get some color in here um, and this is where you want to go to um, your contrast and move it down to zero and that'll take care of it. I'm going to exit out of my adjust image, move my image forward. As you can see it's, it's too big so I just want to make it a little bit smaller. Put it inside of my photo. Next thing that I do is I go ahead and add a text box and I just put the student's name the year move it down in the corner and then you can choose some kind of cool font to go with their name. We like to make it kind of fancy since silhouettes um, were from a long time ago. I like to do some neat cursive and there you have it. Your silhouette created in Pages or Keynote. Thanks for watching.